And now your weather with meteorologist Gino Recchia. It was a windy and sunny day yesterday. Now today we're back into the cloud cover ahead of a big warm up for tomorrow and it's all going to be once we get south of this warm front. It's lifting northward. We have some light rain showers ahead of that band and we could have additional showers and thunderstorms overnight tonight. But you see some clearing skies well down to the south once we do get into that warm sector of this area of low pressure farther to the north. There is some snowfall ongoing in Canada, but let's leave it over there. We got a few little sprinkles starting to pick up on radar uh, between I-94 and I-35, and this is going to be gradually shifting off to the east and northeast overnight tonight. There is a marginal risk for severe weather, but with the cloudy skies and the rain showers we've had all day today and keeping pretty much cloudy weather all day, the risk for some potentially marginally severe storms has now shifted farther towards the west, far west of the Fox Valley into the Northwoods and extreme western parts of Marquette and Washera County. Really, if we do see any type of storms that could pose some severe weather risk, it's just going to be the risk for some hail with some of these elevated thunderstorms along and north of that warm front. Skycast is showing that later on tonight, seeing those rain showers and thunderstorms lifting northward doesn't look that impressive, and we have seen it actually cut down in terms of its coverage in the last couple of model runs. This will be lifting to the northeast. Here we are at 5 o'clock in the morning hours on Saturday. Could start off with some patchy dense fog, and then the skies will start to clear a little bit as we get into the afternoon. More clouds up towards the north woods, more sunshine farther down to the south, and rainfall totals from that line of precipitation that lifts northward could be anywhere from about a tenth of an inch to perhaps up to a half inch of rainfall. Really depends who sees those showers and storms. But as afterwards tomorrow, that's where we're going to start to tap into some milder conditions into the lower 70s and it's been quite some time since we've seen that. Matter of fact, we have to go back to October to have temperatures in the 70s over a half year ago, 185 days. Crazy to think about. Well, hopefully we break that tomorrow. Right now we've got values in the lower to mid 40s across our viewing area. Lakeside areas in the upper 30s and lower 40s. Manitowoc right now holding on to 41 with winds coming in out of the southeast at about 10 to 15 miles per hour. So there is a Ted breeze coming in right now. We're cooling off to 43 southeast winds 10 to 15 miles per hour. A few showers and thunderstorms. Then for tomorrow, we'll get up into the mid 70s, high of 75. It's going to feel nice. The only downside is as you look at the 70 forecast, it's only a one day event. Then we're going back backwards as I'm walking backwards away from the screen. We get down into the 40s on Monday, low 40s on Tuesday. Some areas in the upper Northwoods might not even get to 40 degrees and then slowly getting back up into the low 50s. But by next week, Friday, Nina, our highs are supposed to be in the lower 60s, so it's it's like a, a one day sale event almost <laughs> like you get your mattress today because tomorrow might be gone, but one hit wonder. Yeah, that's really what it is, man. Eh, but we'll take it though. At least it's one nice, beautiful day and then we'll deal with the rest later. I guess June and July there will be more 70s. It will get warm eventually. Yeah. Best things come to those who wait, right? There you go. All right, you know, thanks up next here.